Christina Person was a spokesperson for the Trump campaign. You saw her a lot on TV during the campaign, and she would say outrageous things, but it was okay. It was all in service to Donald Trump, and and the dear leader did in fact, of course, had to be served. And if the truth got mangled along the way, and if she was a little too combative, well, that's part of the business, right? And she, as Raw Story reminds us, among other things, she blamed former President Barack Obama for the 2004 death of Muslim American soldier Humayun Khan, which makes no sense. This, and as Raw Story explains there, despite the fact that Obama was just a state senator at the time, she flat out denied that then candidate Trump had really proposed a ban on all Muslims entering the United States, despite proposing exactly that. And she claimed that presidential candidates releasing their tax returns was a novelty tradition, despite the fact that it's been done by every presidential nominee since 1970s. Now, look, we can go on and on. And she would also attack people um, th that were on the other side nonstop. Okay, we could roll tape forever. Um, so, for that loyalty, I assume that she's got some sort of post in the White House. We just don't know it. Uh, because it's a, you know, look, she's relatively inexperienced in government, so it's, she's working her way up. No, no, she got no post at all. So all the people who gave Donald Trump their loyalty, Chris Christie, Newt Gingrich, Rudy Giuliani, uh, whatever happened to Scotty Nell Hughes, Katrina Pearson, sorry, it doesn't work that way. The dear leader takes, 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 and unless you give him actual hard cold cash, it's not much coming back in your direction. But if you give him cash, then you got a spot in the cabinet or in the government. And now get a load of the reason why they did not have her in the government. Well, it turns out they thought that she was too combative and unstable. The people who told her to do exactly that on television over and over again. So Trump campaign source says, I love Katrina, but she was bitching to everyone that they should have chosen her and not Sean as in Sean Spicer for White House press secretary. It got back to Jared Kushner and Reince Priebus, and they ultimately decided they just didn't want to deal with that sort of drama. Now, when that sort of drama helps Donald Trump, he loves it. That's good ratings, you get the campaign fodder out there, create some drama, get some votes, uh, yell at other people. Oh, when it comes to us, no, 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 we don't need that kind of drama. Katrina, uh, you've been of good service, now move along. Now, on your way out, of course, there is a consolation prize, and that's money. So you will now be part of the pro-Trump advocacy group called America First Policies. Of course, she goes on to say, oh, the White House press secretary, no, I didn't want that. In the government, at the White House, having real power, no, 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 I didn't want that. No, it's no big deal to me at all. No, yeah, I, I like consolation prizes. So in other words, Katrina, good job, little pat on the head, get paid off by some rich guy funding America First policies, but keep your mouth shut, okay? And stop your bitching. How did all those attacks against fellow women turn out for you, Katrina Pearson? The corporate media has multi-million dollar anchors. We have you guys. Go to tytnetwork.com slash go, and you can help hire investigative reporters that'll do real journalism. 